program correctness. Suppose that we have designed an algorithm to solve a problem and have written a program to implement it. How can we be sure that the program always produces the correct answer? And usually what we do is testing. So came up with test cases or set of inputs and a set of outputs that we expect from the code. However, if anything have, uh, have been taken from the courses that or the discussions that we are making here in this month, we know that this testing will only give us examples of program success to be more specific about it it's proving the existential case of a certain property of your program however our major concern uh, will be to come up with a universal correctness for a program and this is a bit hard which testing cannot be or cannot provide this one so how do we verify that the program is correct so program verification the program is said to be correct if it produces the correct output for every possible input and a proof that a program is correct consists of two parts you have to first show that the correct answer is obtained if the program terminates that is partial correctness and second you have to show that the program always terminates so partial correctness will be to specify what it means for a program to produce the correct output so you have first the initial assertion P, which gives the pro properties of input values. And second, the final assertion Q, which gives the properties that the output of the program should have. So um, this looks like now the implication P implying Q, uh, only that we have um, different terms, initial assertion, so given that initial assertion is true, does it follow that the final assertion is satisfied? So we can conclude that it's partially correct. So here now comes the Hort triple. So a program or a program segment is said to be partially correct if with respect to the initial assertion P and the final assertion Q if whenever P is true for the input values of S and S terminates then Q is also true for the output values of S. So we could have a specific example for this uh, scenario. Like given the initial assertion, you have P is equals to X1. And the final assertion, Q is equals to Z is equals to 3. So show the partial correctness of the program segment. So this is now our program segment, S. And for the Hort triple, you have P code segment S should imply Q. 
So, given that P is true, so we have to assume P will be true. So you have X is equals to 1. Then we're going to assign 2 to Y. So execute the code segment, for example. So assign 2 to Y. And we're going to assign X plus Y. So X is initially 2. So we're going to assign 2 plus 2 to our Z. So, in this case, ah, sorry, so 2 plus 1, so our x is, this is 1. So we're going to assign 1 plus 2, making our z 3. So therefore, if you refer back to the final assertion, so this is exactly satisfactory. Therefore, this program segment is partially correct. So that's it.